Today we're building the easiest and cheapest paint can shaker. Want to find out? Keep watching. So the average spray paint can, you got to shake it for about 60 seconds, maybe two minutes, and you can get it freed up, especially if you used it in the last, you know, if you've used it recently. Some of my spray paint cans sit around for years without me using, or, you know, something like rubberized undercoating. You have to shake this stuff for five plus minutes if you don't want it just to instantly clog itself inside. Zinc coating, textured spray paint, you got to shake them for ever especially if they sit the first thing i'm gonna need is a chunk of three inch abs or pvc plumbing pipe we got that here we got a big old length of it we don't need this much we only need a little bit but let's show you what we're gonna do so we need to cut it down to about 10 to 11 inches uh, you do not need to buy a huge chunk of this this is a 10 foot chunk you they sell it in two foot chunks for around six, seven bucks for a two foot chunk and you make two of these things out of it. So I've got a mark, let's just cut it. Okay, we're done with the hard part. And it fits small cans or big cans. Vintage cans, brand new cans, cans in between. Fits them all, that's all we needed. Now the magic to this, this is gonna be a spinning shaker. It needs to spin. Now we could put a cap on there and try to affix a screw through there or something else. They already make something that's actually cheaper than a cap. You can pick this up. This is a pipe test plug. And you know, here's an old one that I had in a four inch, but we need a three inch. And this was a right around, it's $4 off Amazon shipped to my door, or I think the Home Depot had them for $5.50. So this just fits in the end. And as these two, you see that they're tapered, as they squeeze together, this rubber chunk squeezes out. But we need to do one modification to it. We need to get rid of the big wing nut and a couple of the washers. There's a little rubber washer on top that we do not need because we don't need this to hold back pressure. This is meant to hold, you know, so plumbers can actually test the pressure of a piping system to make sure there's no leaks. And then we're just going to take a flat washer and instead of the wing nut, we're just going to use a uh, 5 16 nut. I'm just going to screw that on. We're getting, so the parts we aren't using from the kit, the wing nut, a rubber washer, and a little nylon washer. We want these, this, this nut to spread the load on this plastic. It's really durable plastic. Then all we do, put it in the end, and it will self-locate over a great distance. This will self-locate, this will help push out and self-locate, and then the screw that we're going to attach the drill to is long, and not just braced right on the end. I was originally gonna build this out of metal, but I thought, you know what, let's kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. And that's what this is. We'll just screw it down, and then I can feel it grab. We can make sure it's seated all the way down. And we'll just ratchet it in. Until it's tight. That's it. We're done, really? We should sand it just a little bit. So now we just take a drill, Chuck it up. Take some sandpaper. Hold a piece of sandpaper in here. Just make sure. We've got no sharp edges. And that is it. We're done. Beautiful. A little bit of wobble. Doesn't matter. I've been testing this out for a couple days now and shaking up paint cans. The way we get them to stay inside is not complicated. This is a t-shirt. This is just a rag. I'm gonna fold it over a couple times. That's it. Put it in, and this just wedges down. I can still grab the top of the rag, pull that out, but that's what holds it in there. Just take it, push it down in there, and it is ready to shake. Makes you nervous, you can always just put your clutch on. So you can put your drill clutch on so it doesn't grab anything. And I'm not really holding it with my hand, I'm just kind of supporting it with my hand and loosely holding the drill. And that ball is just flying in there. And the idea is, is to stop and go a couple times. In about 30 to 45 seconds, it's done. It's ready to spray. There's no, you know, there's no 
clear that comes out first, it's ready to be the full color. So I've played around with it a couple days. I've been spray painting, I've been using it, and it's been working great. I've learned a couple things. First, you want that bolt to sit as deep in that chuck as possible. You do not want, I actually originally put a longer bolt in there. I thought it'd be nicer to have it longer out here, and I've just bent the bolt. So there's too much play in the bolt. So if that bolt doesn't seat all the way in your drill truck, cut it off so it seats as deep as possible. Second thing is, uh, around 1500, 1600 RPM is ideal. You really don't want to go faster than that. Like this drill is about 1600. This one is like 2100, which is a little too fast if I just full bore. You can put the clutch on if you're nervous at all, and it, it won't catch on anything. Um, third, uh, fourth, whatever number I'm on, you don't have to, you don't have to use the rag. You can just tip it up, do it, and actually if you let it wobble a little bit, I think it kind of gives it a little bit more shape. See, I got the clutch on, I can stop it at any point. Part of my testing was to actually take food coloring and water and oil and put them in a bottle and then actually put a ball bearing, the exact same ball bearing that comes out of a spray paint can inside here. And I did a bunch of tests to see how well it shakes up. So, I mean, I'll show you five seconds. Ready? Five seconds. It's like a whirlpool in there. It's physically a whirlpool in there. So I've done a bunch of tests myself where I actually, you know, sprayed it out with out shaking it at all. And then uh, uh, two separate cans had been sitting forever. I took one and I put it in the machine. Or I shook it by hand. And then I think this one I did it in the machine for 30 seconds. This one I shook it by hand for a minute. And I noticed no difference. I didn't notice any solid fallout or anything else. Um, I did it a couple times with a couple different cans. And it seems to work fantastic. Total cost for this build is right around six, seven bucks. Can't beat that. It is super simple, but it works actually amazingly well. I've had no issues with it. Um, down below in the video description, I'll put a parts list. You know, in case you didn't catch it all, I'll put a parts list where you can get everything. I'll put links to where you can buy these online if you can't find them locally. But thanks for watching, guys. Put it on the shelf. Out of the way. Takes up no space. See you guys soon. Keep it simple. Bye. Hey, can you help me out? Can you hand me my drink? Yeah? Okay. Put it in here. Can you put it in? Come on, get in there. Get in there. Oh, you're just throwing it at me. Here we go. Leave it. Okay, hand it here. Good job, puppy. Want to say goodbye to everybody? You can get up here. Say goodbye to everybody. See him? They're right there. See that guy right there? Holy heck, he doesn't have any pants on. Get over here. Look at this. Don't look at it. Shield your eyes.